Good evening and welcome to the Posthumous Poetry Series Part 9. We are almost at the tenth week of our series. I think next week is Groundhog Day, so I think I found a Groundhog Day poem for next week, sort of. And um, so now we are in winter. It's January, last week of January, so we're really in the thick of it. And uh, it's winter. That's all I can say about it. I don't like it. Never did. This poem I'm going to read is from a current collection that I'm working on called Sleeping at the Van Gogh. And uh, it's kind of my dreams now, my fantasies, my, um, my goals to be able to um, convince the Van Gogh Museum to let me do a thing where I can sleep there every night just so I could see what it would be like to sleep at the Van Gogh and see if I would have any dreams or what what it would be like it's been a fantasy of mine for a few years now so I have a title of a new volume that I'm working on now it's called Sleeping at the Van Gogh excuse me this poem is from uh, title of a painting by Jan Steen. Jan Steen is one, you know, one of the great Dutch guys. You gotta love Jan Steen. An elegant company in an interior with figure playing cards by Jan Steen. It is the day passé under the baldachin of January. Yeats reminds us, be not inhospitable to strangers lest they be angels in disguise. They say it's till vermin and fine art set inside an august brownstone on Gramercy Park South. Body and mind fade away, erotic and opiating. The illusory spectacles of a deceiving magician are there. Gellick Renpache said it was the beatnik poets and others who tried to explore the human mind. If they hadn't done that in the 1960s, we wouldn't be doing this today for, for sure. Appearance does not hold you down, but the acceptance of it. This morning, just the orts and sastruga from Saturday's snow.